Ezekiel 16, 49 says, Look, this was the iniquity of your sister Sodom. She and her daughter had pride, fullness of food, abundance of idleness. Neither did she strengthen the hand of the poor and the needy. They were haughty and committed abomination before me. Look this way. I know you're viewing from all over the world and you're saying, but Brother Steve, this doesn't have anything to do with me. I beg your pardon, sir. I've lived all over the world and I've traveled all over the world. I remember walking into Amsterdam and the people saying, don't go past that road right there. And I said, well, what is there? They said, it's the district. And I remember David Wilkerson, who was my spiritual father, he said when he went there to the red light district, to the big circle, to the place where everything goes, anything goes, eat, drink, and be merry. He said when he went through the the gates of that area, he started to vomit and he ran as fast as he could the other direction. America, could I speak to you for a minute? Full of pride, lust, stuck on yourself. This is America. And I've been on my knees before and I've said, Jesus, when is judgment coming? I remember going to a homosexual rally. Oh, by the way, this is Sodom and Gomorrah. Sodomy. I remember going to a rally and I went there just to view there must have been a half a million homosexuals and if you're a homosexual here, I love you. I love everybody. Your sin is an abomination to God. And I remember looking at men sodomizing one another in the grass at the Washington Mall. And then I walked a little bit further and two women were embracing one another totally nude. And I went up to the police who were on horseback and I said, Sir, that is against the law. And this is what he said. I can't stand it either but we're just going to leave them alone and we know they'll go away. I'm not talking about Thailand or Taiwan or another Asian area of the world. I'm talking about America. Abominations. You know what abominations are? Those things that are morally disgusting to God. Amen. Sir, let me tell you something. When you lock lips with your gay lover, you are committing an abomination before the Lord. Oh, by the way, I don't need any friends. I asked the pastor the other day, I said, how's it going? He said, fine. I said, what? He said, fine. I said, you mean everything's going great? He said, yeah. I said, what are you preaching? I 
I'm saying that to you, sir, ma'am. What's coming out of your mouth? Jesus said if they hated him, they would hate you. And don't talk to me about crowds. I've seen crowds. I've been in crowds. I preached in stadiums and arenas. It means nothing. Jesus had the crowds and he said, Hey, drink my blood. Eat my flesh. And they said, this is too difficult for us. They basically did this. Stay out of our lives. We enjoy where we're at and what we're doing. 